What do I say? What can I possibly say? How about where have you been? How did you find me? Are you real? You hungry? I could whip up some blueberry pancakes. I used to love those. Yeah, I'm not five anymore. Maybe a sandwich. One sandwich. Coming right up. Why is Dexter already sold on the idea that this is his son? No doubts whatsoever? No questions? Hey, how did you find me? Even though I'm living a completely new life with a new identity. Growing up without a dad, that was hard. And opening up that letter, finding out you let me believe you were dead all those years. Hannah showed you the letter? No, I found it when she died. Hannah died? Well, at least we have some good news. A social worker put me on a plane from Buenos Aires to Miami, bounced around a bunch of shitty foster homes, decided to find you. The return address got me that town in Oregon. Also found that you left. And I found a shot of you on Instagram. Some Fred guy and some bowling team <laughs> bragging on you bowling a 300 right here in Iron Lake. <laughs> what a far-fetched bullshit explanation. How he found him. Dude. Also, how did Dexter write a letter to Hannah? How did he get her address? Stop. <laughs> if by some goddamn miracle you don't end up killing him, you will sure as shit fuck him up. I think he's fucked up already, finding out that his father faked his death. I'm not gonna fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to say. And so serious, even. I'm not gonna fuck him up. <clears throat> this is what happens when I give in to my dark passenger. But I can fix this. Yes, just cover up that bloody snow. <laughs> 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 Actually, maybe he should have gotten a bucket and fill the bloody snow into that bucket and then melt that bloody snow somewhere. All of it. Matt Caldwell disappeared in the woods near here last night. I was hoping we could set up base camp for the search here. Yeah, of course. Do you mind if I use your kitchen table for a sec? Gotta mark this up and love some Earl Grey. Good luck explaining who Harrison is. <laughs> What's going on? Jim, and this is... The new prime suspect. <laughs> Just when he showed up, Matt disappeared. Hmm. What are you two talking about? Mom, as she passed away, when that happened, I came up here to be with Jim. Thanks for covering for me. Didn't do it for you. Just didn't want a cop all up in my business. Oh, I hate that kid. Smug little red boy. The terrain gets rough, my RTV will get through it faster. Okay, you and your son can take it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> what oh, a pro. Crap. I might get away with this after all. <laughs> Why did she even... She didn't find that suspicious that all of a sudden there was champagne and strawberries in her room? Did she expect that to be there or what? Was she waiting for someone? The hell is going on? Kind of swerving a lot. Just avoiding rocks. Usually blood sets my teeth on edge. Now it's giving me whiplash. <laughs> He's driving over the bloody snow now. <laughs> And Harrison doesn't see this bloody snow? Also, surely this doesn't even get rid of the bloody snow, right? Just presses it down. That deer was shot on Seneca land. It's against the law to kill them. We need to tell Angela. Can you drive the RTV? Yeah, it should be fine. All right. Just follow the trail back and get them here as fast as you can. How old is Harrison actually? And when did he learn to drive? They always say killers return to the scene of their crime, but this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's not fucking funny. <laughs> oh, dude. That's kind of annoying. I think she might even be more annoying than she ever was being real. 
I told you the <gasps> one was a one-time Dude, screw up. What the actual fuck do you think you're doing? Harrison's been here one day and you have him in the woods looking for a man you killed? He'd be so much better off without you. Could he maybe come up with an alternative then? If Dexter's not supposed to clean up, what is he supposed to do? Oh, of course, nothing. You have no ideas because you're just standing there laughing like an idiot. None of us would have done something like this. It must have been an outsider. You think maybe Matt Caldwell would? This is bullshit, Angela. Hmm? I'm betting the Caldwell kid did this. There's no evidence tying Matt to this deer. So we'll process the scene, which you're all trampling right now, so please back up. <laughs> Shit. Why does my girlfriend have to be such a good cop? A good cop? Oh my god, she knows the rules. <laughs> She's a super cop. Oh my god. Oh my I god. I just found this about a mile down the trail, right before I got to the, the highway. Thank you, Fred Jr., you magnificent outdoorsman. <laughs> magnificent outdoorsman. This may not even be Matt's glove. Someone could have dropped it a month ago. Matt had gloves like that when he was in the store. Indeed he did. And there's smudges did of he? blood on this. Was the magnificent outdoorsman even there? When Matt came? Harrison, the high school just got out, so the students are joining the search. Maybe you can meet some kids your own age. Like my daughter, because sure as hell we need a teenage romance. Okay, everyone, oh. do exactly what the officers Zach. tell you. Scott, what's up? Go! Y ten cuidado! <laughs> Immediately interested. <laughs> of course. I gotta head to the shop and check on those bullets I sold Matt. Dude, the second time they exchange looks. Within one minute. It's hard for me in high school too. Yeah, I survived the last 10 years without you, Jim. Yeah, then why did you even come here if you did so well without him? Well, he's not an awkward as fuck budding serial killer like you were. You don't even know that. Maybe he is. <laughs> you fucking love that you're getting away with murder. You can't wait to kill again. You are a fucking serial killer. You What's even your point? Shut the fuck up. Christ. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to kill her. She saw you screaming. Yeah, that camera kind of stands out, doesn't it? Does she know the camera's there? Sorry, you ended up in Iron Lake. Sucks here. I think I'm just passing through, actually. Oh, fuck you. So where? Mm. The teenage love theme has kicked in. <laughs> Shit, hi! Hide? Why? What are they doing? Are they not even searching? They don't need us. And Matt Caldwell's an entitled prick, so fuck him. We're here to party. Ah. You're gonna party? What? Isn't this a bit out of character for this girl? Mom is really not gonna like you. <laughs> she doesn't have to. As long as you love me. Let's make out. My mom died when I was really young, and my stepmom died of cancer a couple years ago. How'd your real mom die? You know what? I shouldn't have asked. Does he even know? He was kind of young when it happened. Did anyone ever tell him? You know nothing about him. But we can. <laughs> say. That's fucked up. <laughs> Relax. That's fucked up. You just broke into this cabin. You got an artist here. <laughs> so he's actually good at something, unlike the two of you. Very good stuff. Pinning half-naked guys to mats. Wrestling is an Olympic sport, Audrey. So is ping pong. It's actually called table tennis, for your information. You intolerant asshole. Hello? Hey! Let me the fuck out! <laughs> About time. <laughs> How did she even get here? Oh. <laughs> so did she meet that guy? He invited her to stay overnight? She just went with him and now she's trapped and already dead? We do not think Matt Caldwell is in these woods, so we are shutting down the search! So he did shoot that deer. 
and then probably fled to avoid prosecution. When Harrison is settled, you should bring him over for dinner. I'll make my grandmother's hulled corn soup. Mm -hmm. And when he's done with that, maybe he can eat your lovely daughter. Matt Caldwell's an asshole. Audrey. And since everyone's packing up, I'm guessing you found him. And he's fine. Not the point. I didn't know where you were. It's dangerous out there. I'm not Iris. Get in the SUV. We're going home. Let's go, Zach. <sighs> Dude, all these teenagers are just so annoying. Why did you leave us? Was it because of what you wrote in the letter? Yes. Exactly. What did he write, though? <laughs> Reach out to me if Harrison shows any dark tendencies. <laughs> what did you see in me? Nothing bad. You were this sweet, smart, trusting little boy. He was smart. What? Again, how old was he? Wasn't he just two, three or four? I went away. Because of what I am, not because of who you are. I, I, I don't understand. I was in a dark place after I lost your mom. Even when she was still alive. I was a drug addict in season two. <laughs> I thought you would thrive in Argentina with Hannah. <laughs> she was always so good with you. Follow up question. Why Argentina, dad? Killing an animal on reservation land. Evidence points to him fleeing the area. No, 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 no. He would have called me if he was in trouble. He always does. My son has disappeared and we need to find him now. This is Iron Lake. We look out for each other. So please, I'm begging you. Do not give up on my son now. Okay. 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 <laughs> Harrison, this is uh, Kurt Caldwell. Nice to meet you, Mr. Caldwell. Likewise. Matt's out there. I'm going to find him. It's the last thing I do. It's going to be the last thing you do. Oh, dude. It's still kind of alright, but it already has all the red flags of average writing. Every scene with Deb is not only irrelevant, it's also infuriating. Just like every scene with the teenagers. If you cut those two aspects of the show, it could be good, but obviously that's not going to happen. They will be a part of it until the end. Then of course you have Harrison who got shoehorned in with some bullshit explanation just as I feared. You have the predictable romance angle between him and the girl. You're going to have, most certainly, him being in danger later on when Clancy Brown finds out the truth. He might as well kidnap the girl too while he's at it. But even if it won't happen like that, right now it feels like it will. Like it's inevitable they go there. And that kind of kills the show's appeal. It will probably also go places where Harrison will find out the truth about Dexter, maybe even witness him killing Clancy, or Harrison kills Clancy himself. And then Dexter has something to worry about, that he has created a new monster. Something like that. Really wish Harrison wasn't part of this.